On the one hand, we could look at today's gospel reading and say, ah, we've heard all this before. Love God above everything else. Love your neighbor as yourself. But with the events of recent weeks, I think it takes on an added resonance. Soon we will be able to gather again for worship, and that will be wonderful. But the gospel reading today reminds us of our responsibility, even in the absence of that opportunity for worship. We hear the scribe say that loving your neighbor as yourself is even greater than any burnt offerings and sacrifices. So even as we mourn our opportunity to worship, we celebrate our ability to love. And so we see many opportunities to love in these days as we ponder the injustice of the violence done against the black community in our nation. We are called by the voices of protest to reach out in love for our neighbor. And remember who Jesus said was our neighbor. It's not just those who look like us. It's not just those who enjoy the same kind of prosperity that we do. No, it's that foreigner lying on the side of the road. Those who are oppressed and marginalized. Racism is one of our most violent forms of oppression. And it is the sin of our country for hundreds of years. We find ourselves at a time where perhaps we can move forward from that sin. It will take a while. But the key is in what Jesus says today. We have to love our God above all else. And in that love of God, love our neighbor, especially those who we sometimes don't see because of the color of their skin or the circumstances of their birth, to love them just as we desire to be loved ourselves.